With only three games left in the Foothill League, the West Ranch Wildcats and the Hart Indians battled it out here at Hart High School. Given on Friday night, it was the Wildcats' opportunity to put a halt into the Indians' undefeated winning streak in conference. Jumping right into the action, the Indians came out ready to play. Elise Mitchell taking the first bucket of the game, and then while still feeling herself, Mitchell knocks down another three for Hart to take the lead. The Wildcats trying to rally together and fight back. Aubrey Molita takes it to the basket to put in the floater to try and close the gap between Hart and West Ranch. But the Indians were one step ahead. Arlie E fooled the Wildcats with her pump fake and scoring one in the paint. Then Hart decided to close the first quarter in style. Morgan Mack sinks the three in the corner to push the lead to 13. At the end of the second quarter, it was Elise Mitchell who puts in the left hook for the buzzer beater of her own, and the Wildcats go into the locker room to find a way to have a comeback. Hart comes back into the third to pick up where they left off. Vanessa Zavala swishes a three from the wing, and soon after, one from the top of the key to extend the Indians' lead by 29. Going into the third, Hart's Laney Grinder with the reverse layup puts in the final touch into securing their lead. The Indians go on to win the ball game, 73-39, and win game number 10 in the Foothill League. Their success wouldn't have been possible without the help from their team's chemistry. You know, I love how when we play basketball, everyone on the team isn't selfish at all. Like everyone gets like everyone gets their own turn of like scoring. Like we all we're not selfish at all. Like we all like share and like most teams like there's always like at least two players who think like they have like they score all that like for heart basketball, like, it's everybody. Like, everybody has won. Like, we make the whole team. After demolishing the Wildcats, the Indians are now drawing their attention to next Tuesday, in which they'll be playing a game against their crosstown rivals, the Canyon Cowboys. And many fans tell me it's going to be as exciting as the first one. Reporting outside of Hart High School, this is Kyle Kamoto for Canyons News.